Hello, I'm Damon from Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to unbox the Pioneer BDR X12 EBK and record 128 gigabytes to the drive and see how long it takes and have a look at the equipment. Let's uh, jump into it. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the box. So we can see uh, it's Windows 10 compatible, it supports BDXL. Let's have a look at the side here, specifications. So you can see it supports all of your CD, DVD-ROM, and more importantly, the uh, BDR uh, TL or QL, which is the 100 gig and 128 gig media. So we will have a look at uh, recording here. You can see it should record at 6x. Let's uh, jump in and open this up. So if we uh, just turn the box around the right way. I'm going to open the box and have a look. So, first things first, let's take the uh, drive out and we'll move the box to one side. So, the drive's well packaged. So, remove these. Drive out. You can see Pioneer Drive. It's a Pioneer case. On the back of the drive, uh, we've got power and USB free. Let's uh, go back to the box. So, what else we've got? So, we've got uh, feet. And various power cables and power supply and USB free lead. Let's have a closer look here. So you can see we've got a small power supply. Which uh, takes a uh, clover leaf style uh, plug. USB free need and European and UK style plugs. So we'll look this one side. And we've then got uh, in the box the uh, manual and under here is the uh, key for the Cyberlink media suite for recording with. Uh, we've also got the feet for the box um, so we'll stick uh, these onto the drive. Got a choice of two types. I guess these go onto the bottom. So we'll have to place those on. And we'll uh, take the drive frame, connect it up to the machine, and have a look at uh, doing some recording. Okay, so connected to Windows 11. And if I explore through on device manager here, we can see under the CD and DVD ROM drives, we've got a Pioneer. Uh, X12 USB device attached and if I go to this PC again we can see we've got the drive A and we've got a blank DVD-R in there so I've got image burn already installed on here and we can do discovery and we can see the drive is attached you can see we've got a Sony NQ100 disk in there which contains four layers and 32 gigabytes per layer um, it's a HTL type media. So let's change over to the mode. Let's write files and folders to disk. And the first option I'm going to select is UDF on here. And I have a folder here in Studio Archive. Uh, if we add that folder, uh, select the folder this way. Do a calculate. You can see this is uh, 87 gigabytes and what we'll do is actually uh, tell us to go through and burn. Okay, it's going to run and it's do OK. So it's saying it would fit on a dry layer not a quad layer uh, but we'll continue anyway. Yes. And let this run. 
Okay, so we can see uh, the recordings going through 6x, normally about 26 megabytes a second, just over. And uh, yeah, we finished uh, recording in about 11 minutes. So we'll come back and uh, just have a look then. Okay, so you can see it's uh, virtually finished. I'm going to stop the verification from happening and we'll take a look at the disk uh, once it's complete. Buffer is empty. I guess it will just be uh, writing the lead out on the disk. Closing, finalizing. You can see down here, 35%. And we'll come back when that's uh, complete. Okay, we can see that's successful. So, let's uh, go back to our computer. SPC. You can see now we've got the drive. Uh, 81 gigabytes on there. Various files. Of course, if we want the file, we can literally just copy that off. It'll be an optical random access, so straight away we can obtain a file. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this useful. If you have, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we will cover lots of optical technologies and also look at some of the larger optical solutions, such as the Sony ODA product range.